Hello there, you're watching Biz World. Malaysia successfully attracted potential foreign investments amounting to 76.1 billion ringgit as of this month. This following the country's successful trade and investment missions in Australia, Germany and France. Negara ini harus aman. Politik harus stabil. Dan masyarakat, ya, baik pejawat awam, pimpinan politik, peniaga, pengurus, harus jelas matlamat mereka, kerja mereka. Dasar harus jelas. Macam kita, clarity in our economic policies. Itu akan membantu, Ustaz. Dan ini akan memberikan harapan baru. The success in the trade and investment mission to Australia attracted investments worth 24.5 billion ringgit, while Germany and France amounted to 46 billion ringgit. Meanwhile, Anwar said the economy is expected to strengthen further by growing 4 to 5 percent this year. Export performance also showed signs of recovery last January, with an increase of 8.7 percent after declining for 10 consecutive months from March to December last year. Malaysia achieved 329.5 billion ringgit in approved investments last year, the highest in the country's history. Malaysia should not have filed a dispute complaint against the European Union with the World Trade Organization, WTO, over its palm-based biofuel regulations. Instead, Plantation and Commodities Minister Datuk Sri Johari Abdul Ghani said Malaysia should support Indonesia, who had filed a similar complaint earlier. There are 20 issues that are related to this. 10 dimenang oleh EU dan 10 dimenang oleh Malaysia. Tetapi banyak masyarakat di luar sana ini kurang faham soal isu ini. Jadi dia nampak seolah-olah kelapa sawit Malaysia lebih teruk daripada Indonesia. Sebenarnya Indonesia menarik dan dia mencari 12 bulan daripada hak tarikh ini untuk dapat keputusan. Tapi dia bagi kita dulu buat keputusan. Sebab itu saya rasa, saya rasa waktu kita file dulu, ialah kita patutnya membenarkan Indonesia menjalankan uh, dia punya komplain itu dan kita bagi sokongan saja. Responding to Seputih MP Teresa Kok at the Dewan Rakyat, Johari said Indonesia is one of the world's major biofuel producers, with palm oil methyl ester, PME, being a key biofuel component. In 2023, an estimated 12.2 million tonnes of Indonesia's crude palm oil production was processed to produce PME, compared to Malaysia's 1.4 million tonnes, with only 134,000 tonnes used for biodiesel. Bursa Malaysia closed higher today on continuous buying activities in plantation and banking stocks. At 5 p.m., the FBM KLCI rose 5.62 points to 1,541.41. Gainers trumped losers with 631 against 451 counters, while 466 counters remained unchanged. According to Bank Muamalat, the anticipation rate cut in the U.S. is likely to lift market sentiments in the future. And now, Hong Leong Investment Bank continues to anticipate Malaysia's gross domestic product GDP to grow by 4.8% this year. This will be driven by factors such as the low base effect, increased trade activity and domestic demand. The potential output in the midterm is expected to return to the pre-crisis range of 4-5%, to propelled by higher investments. It also maintained their expectations for Bank Negara to keep the overnight policy rate unchanged at 3% for the rest of the year. Meanwhile, public investment Bank said although there was a negative output gap in 2023, forecasts suggest a turnaround to positive territory in 2024. The shift is anticipated as actual output is expected to outpace potential output growth, supported by ongoing expansion in domestic and external demand. Micro, small and medium enterprises, MSMEs, continue to depend on banks for financial support to further grow and expand their businesses in 2024. An Alliance Bank report highlighted that there is a resilient landscape for MSMEs, with various sectors now beginning to see a return to pre-pandemic revenue levels over the past year. The report also said the biggest concern for MSMEs when it comes to growing their businesses is insufficient cash flow. They are looking into bridging the cash flow gap, primarily through bank loans followed by investor funding and peer-to-peer -peer financing solutions. Due to the nature of their business, MSMEs are mostly looking for banks to offer faster loan application processing and lower interest rates. That's all the time we have for Biz World. I'm Azaria Tagaya. Keep tuning in to TV Tiga.